Today is Wednesday, October 12th, and this is the Dragon Charts Daily Stock Analysis video for the Indian share markets. Yesterday was an exciting day in the market. Even though the benchmark Sensex and Nifty indexes were nearly unchanged for the day, one of our positions rallied 19% higher yesterday and is now showing a 38% unrealized gain since her entry. Take a look here at Suave Hotel. We entered this trade on September 8th at 109.55. Two days ago on October 10th, the stock jumped about 7% and we raised our stop price, but momentum really took off yesterday when the stock rallied 19% and is now showing a gain of 38% since our entry point. Uh, we've also raised our stop price now to 148.3, as indicated by this cell shaded in the purple color. Uh, that's just below the intraday price consolidation of yesterday. When stocks start to get parabolic and go straight up, we tighten our stop, especially when a stock is showing a 38% gain. With most of our trades, we only look to make about a 20 to 25% gain for our swing trades. So if we get into a situation where a stock has moved beyond that and we're up 38%, and half of that gain is realized just in one day, then we really tighten our stop down to make sure we lock in the profit in the event of a reversal. So even if the stock comes back down tomorrow, we'll be out about three points below yesterday's closing price. We'll still lock in a gain of about 35% on the trade. So this is a very nice uh, price action in this stock. And um, one of the things we've been talking about with this stock is the simple fact that uh, stocks of relative strength are the first stocks to surge higher when the broad market eventually does and because the broad market moved higher over the past several days this stock just took off and it was also at trading at a 52 week high so stocks at 52 week highs are also the first to move higher because they don't have any overhead resistance now uh, Varun Industries actually uh, edged a little bit lower yesterday and still hasn't done much since our entry point we're down about four percent on the trade since we've entered and Quality Dairy pulled back and hit our stop price yesterday. But again, we had raised our stop price because we are showing a nice gain on the trade. So we still got out of the trade with a 4.1% gain, even though it hit our stop price of 177.3. So our one current position with a loss of 4.3 and our one closed position with a gain of 4.1% uh, means that pretty much our open positions now equate to this one open position with a 38% gain. And even if it pulls back, we're looking to lock in a gain, uh, a solid gain that's more than 35% from our entry point. Taking a look at the benchmark Sensex index on Dragon Charts, let's take a look at the chart. We can see here that yesterday the index actually attempted to rally above its 50 day moving average but ran into resistance when it bumped into it. That's this green downtrending line here. And uh, this index actually closed right near the previous day's closing price. So uh, we want to be watching this level going into today's session, resistance to this 50-day moving average, uh, which uh, converged with yesterday's high. And now it is positive that the index is holding above its 20-day exponential moving average, but uh, it's not so positive that uh, it's got resistance to the 50-day moving average right here. If we draw a horizontal line, we can see that the 50-day moving average also converges with this horizontal price resistance from the prior highs of September. So if the index gets above this uh, yesterday's high, that'll be very positive uh, technical price action for the near term and will prompt us to enter new long positions. But uh, for now, uh, we're still monitoring IGL, which is Indra Gas Limited. Uh, it did not hit our trigger price yesterday, um, but we're still looking at buying this on a rally above the 436.3 level. Here we can see that IGL had its first pullback to the 50-day moving average a few weeks ago. And uh, if we look at the longer-term chart, you can see it's in a nice long uptrend, a three-year uptrend. Uh, just broke out of a basic consolidation here uh, that was in place for a long time. And looking at the shorter-term chart, we see right here, this area right here, where it's pulled back to the 50-day moving average. So now we're looking to buy the stock if it moves back above this horizontal price resistance right here. So keep that on your watch list for today. It's a potential buy entry um, above the 436.3 level, which is just a couple points above yesterday's high. And just to refresh your mind, all of the plays that we find on our Dragon Charts Daily Stock Analysis videos come from the Dragon Charts Stock Screener. 
In fact, uh, yesterday when we added IGL to our watch list, we found that through doing a scan for a relative strength breakout in the Indian share markets. We look through these stocks here that were returned on relative strength breakout, and these are stocks that meet our criteria for breaking out of a base of consolidation and showing relative strength, and here was IGL. That's how we found it on this watch list. Uh, there was 47 stocks that met our criteria uh, for a relative strength breakout. If you're already a member of Dragon Charts, we hope you're enjoying the daily stock analysis videos and that you're profiting from trades such as Suave Hotels. If you're not yet a member, we encourage you to sign up so you can continue receiving daily videos like this, as well as receive access to the Dragon Chart stock screener so that you can find plays like this on your own. Relative strength breakouts, pullbacks, trend reversals, and even stocks that are setting up to sell short. Good luck in your trading today, and we'll speak to everybody tomorrow.